Thank you for joining me for another video. This is Playtime with Dragonfire. I wanted to try to bring something new to the channel and hopefully help you. First, please help me by poking that like button below. This helps the YouTube algorithm and hopefully helps someone else find my videos. Now let's go ahead and discuss mods for Conan Exiles. What I want to do today is take a look at where to find mods, how to install them, and how to get them running in your game. If you would like to see how to set up a dedicated server for yourself, be sure you are subscribed and drop a comment. Let me know that you would like me to make a video on installing and setting up your very own server. First thing to know is that mods are not available on console systems. I will show you how to get mods using Steam. If you are not using Steam, join my Discord community and I would be happy to help you with other methods. Open your Steam app and click on the community tab or the Steam community webpage. From here, you can see a list of recently played games, any hubs that you have already viewed, and a place to search for a hub. A hub is a community landing page for a game on Steam. I will select the recently played game Conan Exiles. From this page that loads, you can select Workshop to get to the main mods page. There are a few options here in order to look around and find mods of all kinds. Click on any mod image that you want to look at for details. On the mods page, you simply need to click the subscribe button and Steam will automatically download the mod into the proper directory in your Steam installation folder. Once all the mods have been selected, start up your game. From the game menu, click on mods. On the left is a list of all available mods you have currently subscribed. If you have ever played on a server with mods, those mods will have been subscribed to automatically. Scroll down and select the mods that you want to use. With each one you select, hit the right arrow to add them. You can also select one from the center list to remove it from your selection. If the mod needs to be loaded in a certain order, you can move it up or down the list with these arrows. Once you've selected all the mods you want, click on back. You will be prompted to restart the game. Go ahead, close the game, and manually restart it again. Now you are ready to start up a single player, solo, or a co-op game with the mods loaded. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that like button below and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos. I would like to thank you for allowing me to share my playtime with you.